Have you ever stumbled upon a 1957 nickel and wondered if it might be worth more than just pocket change? Or perhaps you're a budding coin collector curious about the value and history of this vintage coin. In today's video, we'll uncover the fascinating story behind the 1957 Jefferson nickel and explore how much it's really worth. From key grading tips to rare errors and mint marks, we've got everything you need to know to determine if your coin is a treasure or just a keepsake. Let's dive in. The 1957 nickel is part of the long-standing Jefferson nickel series, which debuted in 1938. It replaced the Buffalo nickel, a coin revered for its design but notorious for production challenges. Felix Schlag, a German-American sculptor, designed the Jefferson nickel after winning a competition held by the U.S. Mint. This series features Thomas Jefferson on the obverse and his iconic home, Monticello, on the reverse. In 1957, nickels were minted in two facilities, Philadelphia and Denver. Philadelphia handled proof coins and regular strikes, while Denver produced a significant majority of that year's nickels. Collectors admire these coins not only for their design, but also for the historical significance they represent. However, not all 1957 nickels are created equal. Factors like mint marks, coin condition, and rare variations can significantly influence their value. The 1957 Jefferson nickel features subtle yet striking details. On the obverse, Thomas Jefferson is depicted in a left-facing profile with his hair tied back. The words, In God We Trust and Liberty, flank the portrait, along with the year 1957. Flip the coin and you'll see Monticello, Jefferson's Virginia estate. The house is displayed head-on, with intricate details like steps and columns. The coin's reverse also features Monticello, five cents, and E Pluribus Unum. One critical detail for collectors is the clarity of the steps leading up to Monticello. Coins with well-defined full steps are rarer and fetch higher prices. These details often wear out during circulation, making pristine examples highly sought after. The value of a 1957 nickel depends heavily on its condition. Grading scales range from good to mint state, MS, with uncirculated coins being the most valuable. For circulated coins, the 1957 nickel is typically worth between 10 cents and 20 cents. However, Uncirculated specimens graded MS-65 can command around $20 to $25. Coins graded MS-67 with full steps are the true gems, with some fetching over $3,500 at auctions. Philadelphia minted nickels lack a mint mark, while Denver coins feature a D on the reverse. Each variety has its own rarity and appeal. In 1957, the Philadelphia Mint also produced over 1.2 million proof nickels. These coins were made for collectors and are known for their mirror-like finish. While common in lower grades, proof coins graded PF69 are rare and valuable, sometimes exceeding $2,000. Error coins, such as off-center strikes or double dies, can also dramatically increase the value of a 1957 nickel. These anomalies result from mistakes during the minting process, making them highly collectible. To determine if your 1957 nickel is worth more than its face value, examine its condition, mint mark, and unique features. Look for uncirculated coins, rare errors, or the coveted full-step design on Monticello. Even if your coin isn't a high-value rarity, it holds historical and aesthetic significance. The Jefferson Nickel series remains a beloved part of American coinage, and each coin tells its own story. Whether you're a seasoned collector or a curious beginner, the 1957 Jefferson Nickel offers an intriguing glimpse into numismatic history. Its value may vary, but the joy of discovering its secrets is priceless. So the next time you find a nickel in your pocket, take a closer look. You might just uncover a treasure. 